Merry Christmas. Christmas. Welcome to worship this night as we celebrate the greatest story ever told. In fact, the beginning of that story. As the prophets foretold, now it is realized as Christ comes. We're not just remembering that story, but we're welcoming Christ, opening our hearts to receive him again this night. Your preachers tonight will not be me, no applause, (laughs) or Pastor Bill, no sighs or groans. Your preachers tonight will be the young people of this congregation. So I suppose we could have a family service where we just got, you know, the professionals in here and really the light show and maybe some fire and entertained you like that. But I think a family service should involve our kids, right? You agree with that? All right. Good to hear. Yeah. (laughs) Applause even. Um, So welcome this Christmas night as we welcome characters from this amazing story. From the time that Mary is given the good news to the time that the Magi finally arrive. This will be a candlelight service as well, so um, hopefully you got a candle. Uh, You can scurry back there and get them for folks in your row if you need to, but we will have time for that, and we'll have a few instructions on that as well. But if you're wiggly or noisy, you're welcome. (laughs) And for the kids... (laughs) Right? You are welcome here this night. So, blessings uh, to all of you who join us this night as we hear a storybook Christmas. We'll begin this night by standing and singing, O Come, All Ye Faithful, as we light the Advent wreath. I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, and the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. You may be seated. (laughs) So let's begin by turning the page to see who makes a proclamation. It's chapter one, the preparation. In the days of King Herod, I, Zechariah, was a priest for the order of the Abijai. My wife Elizabeth and I longed for a child. But we grew discouraged after waiting such a long while. That is, until one day, my husband was chosen to pray at the temple. He told me an angel of the Lord had come to him. I said, no way. The angel told me, do not be afraid. Your prayer has been heard. You and Elizabeth, in your old age, a child will bear. Filled with the Holy Spirit, he was God's chosen vessel to prepare the people of Israel for something very special. But I didn't believe the angel. We were old. How could it be? 
As a sign, I was unable to speak. I was quiet as a mouse. It was nice to have some quiet around the house. That is, until my cousin Mary came to visit. But I'll let her tell you about it. Thank, Thank you, you for, for listening. listening. Now, now you, you too are, are in, in the, the know. Room. But back, back to the to pages the of, this of this book, we, we must go. go. Oh my god. <laughs> And Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary men, that you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Let's turn the page and see what it presents. It's chapter 2, The Announcements. I'm still astounded when I think about what happened in that little town of Galilee when Joseph and I were pledged to be married. One day, to me, an angel of the Lord appeared. I was petrified, but the angel said, I am not to be feared, for I have found favor with the Lord, and you shall, bear it, and you shall birth a son. This, the Holy Spirit will overshadow you. This is how it will be done. This child will be great, the son of the Most High. His kingdom is coming. In fact, it is nigh. Before I left, before the angel left, I said, let it be according to your word. I was filled with joy and shared with Joseph what had occurred. But when Mary told me, I was a little skeptical. I was nervous what people might do. We were in a pickle. But then an angel of the Lord came to me in the night, saying, your child is from the Holy Spirit and will, and will save Israel from their plight. The child's name shall be Jesus, which means the Lord saves. When I awoke, I went to tell Mary of his angel's claims. Thank, Thank you for listening and singing. Now, now you two are in the know, but back to the pages of this book we must go. Let's turn the page to discover more of this plot. It's chapter three, what you just heard them sing, the Magnificat. When I arrived to see my cousin, my baby leaped in my womb. 
And all of a sudden, I was filled with the Holy Spirit when I was standing in that room. Blessed are you among women, I said, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Blessed are all who will come to believe. Who am I? For God has regarded my lowly state. His mercy and blessings are my fate, not just for me, but for future generations. God will exalt the lowly and fill the hungry of all nations. And for three months, Mary stayed with us. Um, until my son was born. Uh, the day was glorious. Thank, thank, thank you, you for, for listening. listening. Now you two are in the know. But back to the pages of this book we must go. to God, sing out, sing to our King, sing praise. He's Lord over earth, so sing your best songs to God. God is Lord of godless nations, sovereign, he's King of the mountain. Princes from all over are gathered, people of Abraham's God. The powers of earth are God's, he soars over all. You may be seated, and let's turn the page. I'm sure we'll hear something momentous. It's chapter four. The census. I present the Emperor of the Roman World, Caesar Augustus. Ahem. 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 Stand up. Centurion, I don't think they like us. Should I? Now, now, let's wait before they act too rashly. You may tell them now to be seated. <laughs> be seated, <laughs> gladly. Now in those days, Caesar Augustus sent out a decree that all should be registered in the hometown to be taxed. Just a few denarii. This was the first of its kind under the governor Quinerius. The census will help build the empire. At least that's what the theory is. So trolls made their way on Roman roads from Gaul to Judea. The safest, mind you, since the beginning of the Pax Romana. My idea. Centurion, it is time to go back to the pages of the book. I want to go. Ra ra rise as the emperor takes his leave. You may now be seated. Hey, don't look so pleased. All
There were sheep herders camping in the neighborhood. They had set night watches over their sheep. Suddenly, God's angel stood among them, and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified. The angel said, Do not be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A savior has just been born in David's town, a savior who is Messiah and master. This is what you're to look for, a baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. All right, another page turn. Let's turn the page and take a peep. It's chapter five, the sheep. Hi, I'm Benjamin, and this is my brother Saul. We are shepherds to a flock of sheep, not too big and not too small. One night, we were watching our sheep. It was rather cold and dark, and we wanted to sleep. But then we saw a star in the sky. It seemed to go brighter, we could not deny. Then all of a sudden, from the light appeared, an angel of the Lord, he scared us as he neared. of great joy. A little, a baby boy has in the ma has been born to you this day, swaddled in a manger, meek and mild. We stood there looking up in amazement and then a multitude of, of hosts appeared proclaiming the statement. <laughs> Glory to God, God in the highest. And on earth, we will to all know the singing of our voices, great and small. to Bethlehem to see what has come to pass. So we went to Bethlehem to find the manger and left the sheep eating grass. Uh, Ready? Thank, Thank you, you for, for listening. listening. Now, now, now you two are, are in the know. know. But, but back, back to, to the pages of this book we must go. This show must wait. It's time for a special offering plate and a little message from Pastor Jonathan.
Do you like stories? Are you liking this story? Yeah. Well, I want to tell you a brief origin story. The origin of a guy named Santa Claus. Have you heard of Santa Claus? Right? Yeah, also known as St. Nicholas, right? He was a follower of Jesus, very faithful. In fact, when he became a follower of Jesus, he sold everything he had, great riches, and gave it away. But there's a story about St. Nicholas that I bet you might not know. And it has something to do with this. What are these things? Anybody know? Stockings. That's right. So the story goes like this. St. Nicholas in his hometown in Turkey, not that kind of Turkey, the country of Turkey, heard about three young women who were daughters to a man who was very poor. He couldn't raise money for their dowry. Ask your parents what that means when you get home. It was kind of a weird tradition. When you were a, a young woman, you, your dad had to pay money to someone to marry you. Can you believe that? I'm pretty sure it was the other way when I got married. But anyway, <laughs> they didn't have enough money for this, and they were going to have to live their whole lives as servants. And so St. Nicholas saw their stockings hung by the chimney because they didn't have dryers back then. And he took some gold and he put it in each of their stockings so they would have a dowry and they could celebrate and be married just like the other people around them. Isn't that a cool story? And that's where our stockings come from. So for our offering today, we will take our normal offering. Um, but if you want to bring up some spare change or spare bills or things like that, uh, if kids want to come up and give an offering here in one of these stockings on any of these, these three spots, you can do that. And those offerings will go to give food and animals and um, help with farming all around the world for people who are in need, just like St. Nicholas did for those young women so, so long ago. We can be part of that story too. So if you have a little spare and you want to bring it up, that's great as we pass our offering plates. Yes.
As the angels' choir withdrew into heaven, the shepherds talked it over. Let's get over to Bethlehem as fast as we can and see for ourselves what God has revealed to us. They left running and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. Seeing was believing. They told everyone they met what the angels had said about this child. All who heard the shepherds were impressed. All right, let's turn the page. Isn't this a fun activity? Chapter 6, The Nativity. And so the shepherds made their way to the stable where Mary and Joseph knelt by the cradle made of a manger filled with hay the little baby Jesus lay. You know what? That kind of reminds me of a song about a silent night. So let's light our candles tonight and sing along. Right. Please rise as you are able.
What a beautiful song, beautiful candlelight and such beautiful voices. You all sing like an angel rejoices. And so it was a night that all looked in wonder. Gathered beneath the Bethlehem star they were under. Mary pondered all these things and she kept them in her heart. But the shepherds sought to tell the world and one by one they would depart. To proclaim it from the mountains and fields until all had heard that Jesus Christ is born, God's holy word. So let's blow out our candles together. Well, it looks like we've finished the book. We've run out of chapters. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, <laughs> that sounds like a pack of velociraptors. You forgot to read the epilogue. It's about, it's about us, the Magi and King Herod, quite the demagogue. Hey! Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Let's all be seated. You have the floor. Please continue to tell us a little bit more. Um, aren't you forgetting something? Right. Let's turn the page to see about this king. Get out of bed, Jerusalem. Wake up. Put your face in the sunlight. God's bright glory has risen for you. The whole earth is wrapped in darkness, all people sunk in deep darkness, but God rises on you. His sunrise glory breaks over you. Nations will come to your light, kings to your sunburst brightness. Look up, look around, watch as they gather, watch as they approach you. Your sons coming from great distances, your daughters carried by their nannies. When you see them coming, you'll smile, big smiles. Your heart will swell and yes, even burst. We are Magi from the east who saw heavenly signs. Star in the night that met a new king was born, it was divine. So we traveled to Jerusalem and bid our homes goodbye. We said, let's ask, where is this new king when we arrive? Little did we know this question could cause such a stir. For when Herod for when Herod heard it, he called his advisors to confer. They told me in Bethlehem of Judea, Christ would be born. According to the prophet Micah, don't be forlorn. But I had already developed a scheme. I called for the Magi and pretended we were on the same team. I told them, go look for him, I said, so that we may worship him together. But secretly, I was planning something quite grim. <laughs> so we followed the star to Bethlehem to see his child who is now two. We offered him presents of frankincense, gold, and myrrh, just a few. As we knelt in worship, our trip back home began. That is until we were warned of Herod's awful plan. He is still angry for being fooled. <laughs> so, so to Egypt the family fled until things had cooled. They stayed there until his death. And then traveled north to Nazareth. For the child Jesus would grow and become a carpenter like his father Joe. One day, his heavenly father led him to John the Baptist. To begin his ministry of healing and teaching, this was his practice. Now, I don't care for this to and fro. Back, Back to the pages of the book. I want to go. Well, now that you've heard the story of Christmas, you recall, a story of peace on earth and goodwill toward all. From the pages of this great big book, you've heard the gospel in rhyme. From characters such as Mary, even a few magi, since we had the time. As I went to carefully turn each great page, a new chapter unfolded before us here on the stage, where we discovered the message of Christmas, so be sure to share the news 
if others have missed us. So that Jesus child grew and grew from this day. He healed and fed and even taught us how to pray. And on a night before his life was ended, he gave us a meal and through his promise connected us to him and we to another. Now let us share that promise with our sisters and brothers. So, so I'm just... The peace of the Lord be with you all. And also with you. Please stand and share the peace with those around you. And with you. <laughs> what a joyful, joyful noise. You can remain standing. Please remain standing. We're going to flow right into the meal, into the Lord's Supper as we celebrate. We've heard the news of Emmanuel. Now we get to receive that word, not just with our ears, but in our hands and our mouths as we share in the Lord's Supper. And we can go to the next one there. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed good and right and full of rejoicing that we should at all times and every place give thanks to you, Almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the wonder and the mystery of the Word made flesh, you have opened the eyes of faith to a new and amazing vision of your glory. The beholding the God made visible, a babe in a manger, we may be drawn to love the God whom we often cannot see. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We remember how in the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. And we pray as our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, reveal yourself to us as you once revealed yourself in the breaking of this bread to your disciples. You may be seated. As you receive communion tonight, come forward to the front. You'll receive a piece of bread. Or if you need gluten-free, just let the server know that. And then go to each side. And um, either the first cup is wine, the second is grape juice. You can dip the bread into those cu cups. Or if you prefer, you can eat the bread and use one of the individual cups. The gifts of God are ready for the people of God.
invite you to stand. May the good news that's come into your ears tonight, and may this, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, truly strengthen you and keep you in God's grace and peace now and forever. Amen. Amen. All right, so how about we sing one more song, but we offer an invitation. I'm going to bring my cast up here. To those who have been listening and watching the whole congregation. Come on up, friends. Amen. That's right. You've seen these young people up here, and if you're a young person too, you know this already. Now it's time for you to tell the story, young and old. Share the good news of our Savior's glory. You're the preacher. Don't be shy. Tell it from the mountain high. And you're welcome to sing along on the chorus of our, of our postlude, Go Tell It on the Mountain. And our cast will be out there to say hi to you as well. Shepherds care. 
<laughs> Merry Christmas.